Well, uh, this breaking news coming in. The Pakistan military in a press conference has said the fate of Kulbushan Jadav will be decided on merit. Pakistan's DGISPR said Army Chief Kamar Javed Bajwa will decide on Kulbushan Jadav's mercy plea very soon. Hamza, my colleague, is uh, joining me from Islamabad for more on this story. Hamza, now, after Delhi dallying, after uh, multiple of councillor access from the Indian side, of course, the case being heard at uh, the ICJ as well. Now, s some movement there as far as Pakistan is concerned. The army chief is going to decide the fate of Kulbushan Jadav. Oh, well, uh, Ankit, uh, as per procedures, you know, the first uh, mercy plea of uh, Kulbushan was sent to the uh, to the appellate uh, court and that was rejected. Now it is with the army chief and then it is going to go ahead to the president of the country. Uh, but today, uh, the, the, the spokesperson of uh, the Pakistan army, General Asif Ghafoor, uh, has actually clarified two things. One, he said that, you know, the, the army chief is currently considering and looking into uh, the clauses uh, mentioned in the mercy plea uh, presented by Kulboshan. And he also, he clarified that, you know, this decision is going to be taken on merit basis only. So, uh, 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 well, what, what seems to be that, you know, the army chief is actually going to be taking a decision soon because he said his, the decision is going to be coming out very soon. So, yes, we can expect it in the coming days that the decision of his mercy plea by the army chief is going to be coming out in the coming days. You know, uh, Hamza, if I can uh, ask you uh, this as well, that uh, uh, so far, the kind of stand that the army in Pakistan has, uh, in fact, shown as far as Kulbushan Jadav is concerned, what are the chances of any positive outcome for Mr. Jadav? Oh, well, uh, the chances are really bleak. I don't think, you know, uh, the army chief or even anyone in the country right now would want to uh, see a decision coming from the chief itself, uh, you know, pardoning uh, Kulboshin Yadav. I think, you know, going forward, it is only a mere matter of time when the army chief comes out with the rejection of his mercy plea. And then the same say, practice might be actually seen with the president of Pakistan because uh, what what uh, what is very clear on the Pakistan side is that they do not want to let go of Kulboshin Yadav. He's not granted a council access his his uh, family cannot even meet him <clears throat> that decision is also you know under under consideration while uh, it has made they've made this very clear that he cannot uh, have any council access granted as well because he's on spying and terrorism charges uh, so i so i don't think there are any positive chances whatsoever when it comes to Kulboshan's mercy plea being accepted by the army chief or even going forward by the president of pakistan Hamza, you know, would it be wrong to say that uh, more than the merit of the case, which are under question as far as India is concerned, it is the league, the local politics uh, and the, you know, uh, positioning of the army or the political parties that is going against Kulbushan Jadav? Oh, well, if you see the current situation in Pakistan, you know, the political outcome uh, on the on the Panama Gate case against Nawaz Sharif, the sitting prime minister, uh, is also there. Then we, we've got elections coming around the corner. The political parties are getting up for that. And I think similarly what Kashmir issue has always been for Pakistan as a political, uh, you know, point scoring game. I think this, this issue is going to be something that the sitting prime minister and his leadership will be looking into that, you know, if this decision can be done during their time, then I think that is going to attract a lot of political, uh, uh, you know, attraction, positive attraction for the ruling government as it's going to be a major big decision uh, taken under their government. So I think uh, more than merit, it is, it is it has turned more into a, a diplomatic and a political fight in which the military establishment actually is calling the shots. They've got the court uh, under control. It's a military court that is being tried in. No one knows uh, who actually contested his case and whatever procedures are done are only addressed to the media and the public for their information by while no one can actually you know question too much on what how the army operates so i think going forward this case has turned more into a political point scoring game and uh, unfortunately enough that does not sound and look very good for kalboshan's fate thank you so much uh, hamza for joining us with all those uh, details uh, keen eye on that development there in pakistan